But the truth is, for now, we live in a fallen world, and Satan is the God of this world. So why is Satan referred to as the God of this world? Why do we say that? Why is that a statement that we make? Well, it comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 to 4. I'll read that for you. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, verse 4, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. The phrase God of this world or God of this age indicates that Satan is the major influencer over the ideals, opinions, goals, hopes, views of the vast majority of people today and throughout all of the history since the fall in the garden. That is what this means. That is the reality of this statement. His influence encompasses this world's philosophies, education systems, commerce, including the thoughts, ideas, and speculations of all of them. This world is under his control, and it is under the influence of his lies and deception. That's why we're not supposed to be a part of this world. That's why we're supposed to forsake this world. So how did this happen? God created it. How is Satan the God of it? By the way, just to be clear, little g, he is no God. Little g. It's funny because a couple times in my notes I tried to correct it to a big g and I changed it back to a little g. I will not refer to him as a, as, as a big g God. He is not even, he is not God's equal he is not another God. He sure wants us to think so. So how did this happen? Well, we, that is us through our corporate head, Adam, not this Adam, all right, but through Adam, our corporate head, we forfeited the dominion over the earth and we gave it to Satan in the fall in the garden when we subjected ourselves to him and obeyed his directions. Dominion of this entire world was given into the hands of man. Have dominion over the world, God said. It is yours. You take care of it. You rule over it. You protect it. It is yours. And we forfeited that to Satan. And he has had control of it ever since the fall. So it's been a long time. He's had 6,000 years of running rampant. It's been him. It's been that way, and it's been under his sway ever since. But remember, even as the God of this world, little g, Satan can only operate in the power that the Lord allows him to. He can't go outside of that. See, God is still and will forever be sovereign over all his creation. Satan is limited. He is limited. Limited because he is a created being, not a creator. Limited because he is finite. He is stuck in time and space. Limited because he is no omni of any kind. He has no omni. Only God is omni. He is limited by God. And he can only do what God allows him to do. That isn't that God gives him marching orders, but God restrains him. God restrains him. And we must remember that. That's the balance of the conversation. That's the balance we must stay in. 